Welcome to a new video and Dr. Mickey. Today we need to talk about the microbiological media or sometimes called the culture media. So our objectives today we need to describe the different types of the culture media and their composition. Let's go after the break. Welcome back. Before to go to the different types of the cultural media, we need to explain first what are the media and why you need to prepare the media. The media you want to prepare should be containing all or most the nutritional requirements for the microbial growth and the reproduction. The same as any microorganism. You have to provide the carbon source, you have to provide the nitrogen source, you have to provide the minerals, also, sometimes you need to add some vitamins and hormones as well to get the optimum microbial growth. So now what are the different types of the culture media? Actually, the culture media classified according to different types of the media, may be classified according to the physical nature of the media and sometimes according to the chemical composition of this media and sometimes classified according to the functional media what is the function of the media you want to prepare so if you look at this table you can find different classification of the media according to the physical nature maybe you can prepare liquid media or semi-solid media or solid media according to the chemical composition divided into two different media defined or called synthetic media and complex media or sometimes classified according to the functional type and classified as the supportive media this is for general purpose or maybe enriched media or selective and finally differential media so these types of the media in depends why you need to prepare the media if you want to prepare solid media means you need to add solidified agent this is called agar so this is agar substance able to add to solidify your media. If you want to prepare the liquid media or sometimes called the broth media, no need to add the solidified agent as agar. And sometimes you need to prepare semi-solid media, not broth, not solid. This is the called like the uh, uh, viscous. And according to the purpose of the media, you want to prepare the proper media. If you want to uh, prepare the solid media, that means you need to pour this media into the agar plates. If you want to prepare the uh, media, broth media, that means you need to prepare in tubes or maybe in flasks uh, or maybe in different bottles and so on. So these are the different types of the media according to the physical nature of the media. The second type of the media can be classified according to the chemical composition of the media. What type of chemicals you add and prepare this media? So according to these chemicals, it can be classified into defined media or sometimes called the synthetic media or maybe complex. So what is the difference between the defined media or synthetic media and the another one complex media? So if you want to prepare the defined or synthetic media, that means should be all the components of this media and their concentrations are known. Like this media, for example, defined media, you can find all the components of this media are known. And also their concentrations are known. For example, the sodium nitrate, the chemical composition is known. And the, the concentration also you add 1.5 gram per liter. Also dipotassium hydrogen phosphate, also known with the chemical composition and the concentration. Magnesium sulfate, also known chemical composition and concentration. Calcium chloride, citric acid, ferric ammonium citrate, uh, and so on. So you can find all the components and their concentrations are known. Also, you can find the other medium for the E. coli, also containing the components and there the concentrations are known. 
So every single component is known from the chemical structure and also the concentration as well. While the complex media means one of these ingredients are unknown, concentration, even the chemical structure. Sometimes you need to add peptone. Peptone is the semi-digested protein. This is the protein source for the microorganism in the media. The chemical structure of this peptone unknown. For this reason, this media called the complex media. Sometimes also you need to add beef extract. Also the beef extract is the unknown structure and so on. If you look at this table, you can find some media also. This is the complex media. We have, for example, the neutron to broth media containing a peptone. This is the gelatin hydrolyzed. This is we can add only 5 grams per liter and also the beef extract. Both of the peptone and the beef extract are unknown composition or structure. Also triptych soy broth media also containing some components unknown the composition and maybe the concentration like the for example peptone. Also maconkey agar also containing the pancreatic the digest of the gelatin and also pancreatic digest of the casein and also peptic uh, digest the animal tissues all of these components are unknown composition so these are the different types of the culture media according to the physical nature of the media and also according to the chemical composition still we have another classification of the media according to the functional type of the media will be explained in the next video so this is the end of this video today and i hope you got the benefit and please don't forget to share like and subscribe and activate the bell to reach all of my new videos thank you good luck and bye bye